Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Today I'm going to go Thalaclea hunting since if you recall from the previous episode I came across a level 100 Thyla. And I really need a Thyla, they're really really good. But this particular Thyla has 30 points in melee which is absurd for a level 100, really crazy good luck. So it's got a potential to roll into something better. But the thing is though is that when I say I need kibble for this, I really have no choice. I need kibble for this. Thankfully, only three eggs, but I only have one Uteranus egg, so it's time to go Uteranus hunting as well. Now, before we get started, I finally stopped slacking and actually sorted out my dumping inventory, I call this, where uh, I've just been shoving in all sorts of crap. <laughs> all the various things I've been looting, and I obviously can't do this part without you guys, so he wants to see some satisfying grinding. Oh, I didn't really get as much as I expected from that. Oh, actually, I say that, I got uh, 8,000 metal lingers, 1,800 polymer, uh, a ton of fiber. You know what? I did get a fair bit out of that. I'm happy. And there's still more to go, so I'll check the rest of that into there and give it another whirl. And yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> 3,000 polymer, thank goodness, among 13,000 metal, several thousand fiber, hide, chitin. Oh, I've been meaning to do that and I just keep on putting it off and off. But it's so great when you finally, you know, go to the effort of sorting everything out, filtering what you want and don't want, and getting all those sweet resources. Oh, it is positively right outside, but it also means that now my RG isn't quite as encumbered anymore. Which is always a nice little bonus. Now then, one other thing, it's very red, oh interesting. Now one other thing, before we get things going, I need to get Colonel Matrix and I need to set myself up a turret Quetzal. Since, I mean, I had that entire idea in the previous episode, I don't want to throw it away. I think getting used Rannis with this will be much easier. Now, the first thing I want to try out is the Quetz saddle platform, since uh, it clearly just wasn't working last time. It was just really dodgy the way that everything was snapping. So let's give that a quick little go then. Actually, you know what? I should probably get metal just in case. So how does this actually work then? Do I just snap it on? Oh, I do. Interesting. Gonna match up then. I've got uh, <laughs> slippers right in my face. Hey there, slippers. Don't you just look positively evil? Oh, I can't wait to use more of her. And okay, well, it sure is a platform that's not connecting by the slightest. Oh, for God's sake, they really broke these, didn't they? God, I am so mad. I just had a massive destroyer warning message appear, like, you know, them spawning, and I fucking hit J and. Uh, I'm gonna have a bunch of, I gotta fix this all at some point. Well, uh, that's also not the only reason to be angry actually is uh, <laughs> this mess. But also um, the destroyer messages kind of means that uh, during the journey to bring Colonel Matrix over to the Arctic, I could fly into a destroyer Argentavis. I'm really scared about that. I don't know what I'll do in that scenario. And all of the new destroyer spawns also means that there's every possibility. Oh, oh no, oh God. There's every possibility that the uh, Thyla may have converted. Now, I could just go check right now, but not gonna lie, I'm really afraid to, as you can imagine. So, um, I think I'm ready. I need to configure the, or configure the uh, turret. We've got it all powered. I've made this, you know, fall off proof because I just don't, <laughs> don't want to chance it. <laughs> I mean, it's quite a basic little uh, build. I've used primarily a uh, non S plus stuff, except for the turrets. The turrets and the generator are definitely S plus. But otherwise, I guess the actual um, S-Plus platform is quite nice. It does give some extra space. But as you can see, you know, it's really quite simple. Not really much to it. Just made out of metal. That way it looks a bit nicer. And I don't think I'm going to be near a Giga, but just in case a Giga doesn't, you know, break it. Right. I'm really afraid of the, uh, of what the destroyers are going to be. But there's only one way to find out. I want to go get those UTs. Now, first of all, I do just want to quickly set up the turret settings. Uh, I will not include Alphas. Do Allo, RG, Carno, Deodon, Direwolf. Demorphodon, just in case. And now if I have a copy to all nearby turrets. They should also now be changed. Uh, yep, what, only wild creatures. Yep, only wild creatures. Hi, no warning. We're good to go. You know, it could just be placebo, but I do feel like with the abridged quilt, so I'm getting there slightly faster. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, I think it's just placebo. And of course, as I enter the Arctic, because I finally sorted through my inventory, I forgot my fur helmet. <laughs> oh, I'm not freezing anymore, actually. Right then. So, 
the major thing about a strategy is that I just need Uteranus. I just need any. Well, preferably, you know, mostly females will be egg laying, but I just need a bunch anyway. I gotta get a male for the mate boost regardless. So I'm not even gonna check the levels of uh, whatever I'm trying to tame. I'm just gonna try find one that's like, not secluded, but you know, not in the middle of a pile of crap. Like there's one down there, for example, but I think it had an alpha right next to it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try outskirts first. Just make it a little bit easier. Try the outskirts and then just, you know, rain hell and grab it. Perfect, I do believe. Oh no, actually, it's an alpha car now right next to it. That's a really cool looking UT. And it is separating. Oh, it's separating. You know what? What level's the alpha car now? It is level 70. Mm. You know what? It'd be nice to test anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead then and get my bullet. Check it all into the turret. Turn down the volume. And it shall begin. No, they killed the UT! You weren't supposed to kill the UT! And it's way, it's killing all what is it's not supposed to kill the Yankee. Well, I got a apprentice, a Qualadon saddle. It's not supposed to kill the bloody Yankee. <laughs> Clearly, the settings are wrong. Ah, uh, of course, I figured it out. It's set to exclusion, not inclusion. Okay, well, there's another UT over here. Uh, it's attacking the Chalice. It hit the UT once. Wait, no, I think it's actually hitting UT. Uh, is it? It's kind of hard to tell. We'll just, you know... Is that another Alpha Khan? No, it's not. Okay, good. It's not hitting UT. Yes, it is. It's definitely hitting the UT. Damn it! An Ichthyosaurus? Okay, these are horribly wrong. Oh, okay. I figured out again. It didn't bloody work in the first place. <laughs> the filter option when I like copied it to the others, it didn't bloody work at all. Fine. Gotta do it all manually. Let's just do all the I'll just do all the basics then. I'll get Carno, Daredon, I'll get Carno, Daredon, and Direwolf. And that should be enough on its own. Right. Third time to charm. Okay. It's definitely filtered. Turns out the UT died while I was uh, fixing it, but it definitely filtered successfully. Though I should also include Archon Tavis. Mm, I don't like that. I sense destruction. Oh, but it's a Deodon. It's a really, really big Deodon, but it's just a Deodon. All right, all right, I see this. So it's a Uteranus, which is currently chasing a couple of uh, Chalicotheriums off a cliff. Though it's got a lot of Chalice on it. I don't think it's gonna survive. And it definitely died. There's a UT off the cliff down there, and a lot of sharks and that Mastercraft or legendary bloody mammoth. Yeah, that UT's not really got a chance, does it? And I can't pick him up, so yeah, that one's dead. <laughs> that new Tyrannus is level 5. I know I said I wouldn't check the levels, but it's dead anyway, and it's level 5. Okay, so far the method is actually working quite well, or at least well as intended, which the issue is, is that just too many creatures for the Uteranus to, you know, fly into. So my next idea is going to try and meet them halfway on a mountain like this, where, you know, there's die wolves, there's, there's not really much else actually going on. The Uteranus is totally fine. I suppose I could just have it, uh, I, I could just climb it like this, actually. That <laughs> works remarkably well as well. And then the idea is to jump off if it will let me. I can't currently jump off. I'm stuck in the railing. Pick you up then, I suppose. And do that. Oh, why are you dead? You're supposed to be dead as well. Fine. And then the rest of the idea... Wait, where do you to go? Oh, it's right there. Jesus, it's in the ground. And then the idea was to just quickly trap it like this, away from everything else. Uh, like this, I suppose. You're level 60. That ain't bad. That's definitely not bad. Um, where do I go? Oh. Let's <laughs> just uh, do this, I suppose. That works. Sure, this works perfectly fine. And uh, then from this angle, I can just do it like this, and we now have a perfectly safe Uteranus. Just hopefully, my Quetzal's also safe. Oh, it's still flying. Okay, we good then. This works. <gasps> Look at him, he wants to play. So it turns out it's level 60 male, so I obviously have to check with Torpor. And, uh, oh, and there's a quality Kano on the outside right there. So level 60 male then, which is now already out. That was uh, actually quite an easy, all things considered. There we go. Where's the Quetzal? 
Oh, you're right there. I guess this is okay. Ow. Yeah, there you go. Oh, and the RG teleported downwards. Cool, this is all part of the plan. Right, that worked, uh, all things considered, that worked. <gasps> I see another one. Right then, so we have one down. And uh, first thing I gotta do then is actually, you know, protect it. Okay, so currently my Quetzal is happy in the air. We've got another Ute over there. I'll check what it is. It's okay. Yeah. 140 female. So the sentence of which I was going to try and attempt to finish was that I should quickly, you know, just protect this UT because I need the gateways, the behemoths to, you know, like actually get the trap in. And uh, wasn't expected. Oh, I don't have any of my, um, I don't have my bloody demo gun. Crap. Oh, and it's just outside. Of course I find a 140 unprepared. Oh, just in time. We don't want this to happen. We don't want, we really don't want this to happen. We really, really don't want this to happen. There we go. We're fine. Woo, well, that's the, uh, that's the 140 UT right there. <laughs> oh no, forgetting to bring my demo gun was such a mistake. Why won't you kill the, there you go, go kill it. Okay, she is behind me. She is over there. Holy crap. I, you know what? You know what? So far, I don't want to jinx it, but the Arjun Davis hasn't been affected by the, um, you know, by the, the fear roll. She's all the way over there. Okay, this is fine. I can work with this. Okay, good. So I finally got the uh, trap picked up and I'm actually just going to be a bit lazy. It's, it's the male. I do want a male, but I need females. So I need a 140 female a lot more. So I'm going to be a little bit lazy and just prioritize the female as much as I can by just, you know, lazily slapping on that for a trap. I mean, it, it should be fine. It, I mean, it might not be fine. It probably is not fine, but we'll just, it, it's fine. Okay, the 140 was somewhere around here and I don't see her anymore, but that doesn't have to mean that she's dead. I really should have tracked her first. Um, she might, ah, aha, there she is, all pink and glorious. Please don't have an alpha or a destroyer nearby. So let's quickly kill that one then. And uh, my Argent Davis is now gone. This is uh, definitely what I wanted. I'm also just gonna pick up the uh, Daedon. No, I missed it, Never mind. that's okay. I don't need the Daedon anyway. In fact, this is like a good moment. I missed. Oh, there we go. And I really need to quickly put you away as well. And then we'll do the same thing again. But this time we got to make it quite a bit larger. And shove that there. Call a matrix, call a matrix on the other side. And I bloody missed my grapple. Of course I did. Only a little bit panicked. Only a little bit panicked, guys. It's fine. It's okay. And let me just put the last one here. And there we go. Oh, I thought I couldn't mount her for a second then. Right. That should be the UT. She looks quite, you know, secure. My Archie's behind me. That's okay. That's surprisingly okay. Okay. Just dunk myself right here. I wait for her to uh, stand up, and I think that's 140, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 140 powerful female Uteranus. Stats are okay. She's successfully trapped. Wow. Well, didn't that just all become really lovely in the end? Uh, what I will do though is just put myself here. That way I don't miss a single shot. Look at you. You want to be knocked out? She's standing for. I know. I know they stand anyway, but she's standing directly looking at me. I love it. So I just awkwardly remembered that the last time I found a really high level Uteranus and Yellow tamed it, that was when the destroyers spawned on me. Now the destroyers have already spawned, but it's Ark. So yeah, Quetzal's in the air. I'm keeping this trap down. She is now my target. Like she's gonna tame before I do anything else. Uh, I don't bring enough arrows or darts, but that's okay. I brought plenty of arrows. We are fine. We are Gucci. But uh, yeah, I'm not letting her anywhere. Like I'm gonna keep this trap down and absolutely protect the crap out of her. Right, and she is down. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm gonna be a bit smart here and just kind of dismount my grapple there. 
And I just grapple straight onto my Quetzal. Yep, nice and easy. <laughs> what a way to land, eh? I'm so glad I kind of remembered to bring parachutes. I don't remember it to bring a demo gun, but at least I remembered my parachutes. There you go then. Alright, and there's my half ass panic trap for the other UT. <laughs> I mean, it, it works, eh? It, it certainly works. And there is the first UT. Level 89 male, and how's the stats? Uh, they're they're alright. I mean, I'm not really here for the stats anyway, but hey, we have them. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's been really chill just like sitting here with a uh, turret <laughs> infested. Um, with a turret infested Quetzal, I have just been feeling so safe and so chill. Well, I've got some time to kill, and this is really taking a while, so instead of just sitting around here doing nothing, I'm gonna get my Argentavis. The Quetzal's already set on passive. I'm gonna de run to the UT for a bit, and I won't come back until it's done, and I'm just gonna have a look around the mountain, see if there's anything just good around. Such as that Megatherium. No, no, that is definitely not good. Well, the first thing I get is destruction, which is always a lovely thing, and oh, it is a Rhino. 125 Megatherium with the worst melee in the world, level 25, and a Quetzal level 15. I says destruction. And it's a big fat Rhino. Is that a unicorn? That's that that's a that's a unicorn. Hello. That's a unicorn. <laughs> okay. Here's me trying to find like giggles and garches and I found a unicorn. <laughs> okay then. Oh wow. Is that a destroyer Rex? Well I can't tell. So, oh yeah, that was definitely a destroyer Rex. 110 health, oh, really low melee. Wow. That's probably one of the more frightening destroyers I've seen so far. How cool is that? Okay, I'm back at base. If I drop the unicorn down in a the pen, there's a very high chance we could just get spooked by the other dinos. Or oh, then again though, since I whistled them, they are they are all off to a side. But I think it should be better if I put it in here. Actually, hmm. I think I'll be okay actually. Let's just go ahead and just dump it, uh, I don't know, like in here for now. Chuck one there, put you here, chuck the next one there, and uh, oh, if you don't just like run right underneath it, well, whatever, that'd be good for later. Right, and I am back to my brand new level 208 Uteranus. How did you roll out in the end? You rolled, uh, oh, 31 melee, 36 stamina, which I really like. Otherwise, fairly decent, uh, or fairly average stats. I can't remember what my other one is like, but hey, at the end of the day, it's just more options. So. I only needed three eggs, I have one, I already have a female, and now I have another female and of course the male as well, so I should be ready actually just to bring all these back home. You know, in the end, all things considered, I think the whole turret idea went really, really well. It was a little bit messy, you know, I had to figure out the kinks and uh, make sure the settings were correct and actually properly sharing to all the other turrets, but for the most part, it went really well. It went exactly to according to plan. In the end, I just really had to put my faith in the turrets that they protect me while I, you know, am vulnerable, jump off a net gun the Uteranus. The behemoth gateway thing is a little bit messy. I mean, that's quite prone to failing if I'm not careful enough. But for the most part, yeah, it actually went quite nicely. Now, one thing that I think is actually really important is I go get that fighter now. I want the Star of Tainment because, like I said, I'm just not super confident it's only three kibble. So I'm going to go grab it and also just make sure that it didn't get turned into a destroyer because that is extremely possible. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm flying right into one. Hello, you are level 65. Okay, somewhere around here and I'm not getting any destroy messages yet, which is a very good sign. It was a legendary one. So it should just be anywhere around here. I'm not seeing it. It was here earlier. I found it, I checked before I started the video, it was here. Oh wait, what is that? Oh my god. Dude, that was really, really worrying me. Not gonna lie, I was really not happy about that. I found it. Oh god, I just have to hope it doesn't kill me by the time I bring him back home. You know, one of these days, I'm really gonna have to just make a taming trap. I still don't have a taming trap. So, um, <laughs> what I do have <laughs> is a giant pit of dinos. Nah, I'm not gonna stick in there. What I'll do for the time being then, I'm gonna stick it around here. Oh, actually, better idea. Let's not put you. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Okay, 
That's really, really, really not what I wanted. I'll put it down here. This. There you go. That is what I wanted. Oh, you can see the damage it's doing to my RG. You can see why I want this. So, like, look at that. Already, three and a half thousand damage. Okay. Right. So, um, <laughs> I'm a bit paranoid. Not gonna lie. Now, I can just quickly, uh, oh. Uh, as I was going to say, I can just, you know, quickly net gun it. But as you can imagine, I'm just not feeling very good. So I'm just going to quickly try and, uh, you know, like funnel it into this. Of course, you get stuck like that, you absolute turd. Funnel it into this corner. Like so. Right, do that. Just put that down, put that down. And that should be totally fine. That should be totally fine. My RG's already on half HP. Half HP. Okay. Let's go ahead then and just get- I don't have my gun ready, but I do have arrows. Oh, that's normally fine with arrows, to be honest, so this should be like totally fine. I know I'm being like, probably way too paranoid, but look at it. Look at it. Whoa! Oh, that's my- <laughs> that was just a bloody harpoon launcher. It's a good thing I decided that I wasn't going to get any more Uteranus, because I surely could only get the one more, assuming I landed the hit in the first place. Oh great, that missed. So one thing I've always loved about Thylas is the way that they're able to just, you know, they look like they're sleeping. And when they're knocked out, they're not, you know, collapsing violently like everything else does. They just look so peaceful. Right then. So now she can uh, get her hunger draining. Meanwhile, I can spend some time at Tame the Unicorn, get some eggs, get the kibble ready. And that way, if it turns out to not be enough, then, you know, she's already starved Tame. I don't have to spend long getting more. You know, come to think of it, this unironically is not a bad place to have a taming trap because, I mean, it's actually kind of, the terrain's already there for me. And I can always just walk the tame into my base immediately when it's done. I don't know. Food for thought. Okay, more pressingly, you Tyrannus. Let's chuck you out. Let's chuck you out. And just for the sake of comparison, if anyone's curious, so my previous 208 female you Tyrannus was 35 melee, 32 health, 31 stamina. My new one is... 36 stamina. That's kind of really it. I mean, still, it's it's good. It's great. I'm ne definitely not going to complain. It's just more options, and I'm happy to have gotten it. Meanwhile, I'm just going to make myself real heavy and sneak up up to that unicorn. Where's that unicorn? There it is. Just sneak my way over. Quite fitting the taxidermy area, don't you think? And... Begin that. No, get your poo out the way. You, you, you didn't have to poo in my face. Oh, it counted. It counted. Okay, I seriously genuinely thought like that just screwed up the entire thing and it was like an awfully cycle. <laughs> because it bloody pooed in my face. <laughs> oh, this game. Well, clearly weighing myself down made absolutely zero difference to the thing. But here we go then. I've got to. Oh, no, no it did make a difference. Post tame. Not before the team. Well, whatever. Screw you then, game. <laughs> a nice unexpected addition to the episode. A awesome unicorn team. And you can see, like, it's actually got its um its regions properly. It just looks like a white equus as opposed to, like, you, you know what I mean. Like, you can vaguely see the stripes. You normally can't. Either way, either way. Kibble. Oh. I like how it just followed me. So it could have walked under that gap that entire time. It just chose not to. Well, you know what? Thanks, Dan. I appreciate that. Okay, so at some point earlier, I said I was going to start the Thyla. I honestly can't wait. It's got the potential to roll so well, and I'm really anxious. It's just going to be absolute crap. So, okay, good, good. The three bites is genuine. It's tamed. I got my first Thyla, 149. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I am so, so relieved. I'm happy, oh, but I'm relieved. My god, watch me get something instantly better my first day in Scorched Earth and this is overly dramatic for nothing. Well, somewhere among this mess, good god, is my Thyla saddle, which I think I left in here. I'm pretty sure I got a good one. I got a very good one. Yes. Thyla, Thyla. And let's chuck you out. Oh, I love Thylas. They're one of my favorite dinosaurs in the game. I've always loved Phylas, they're just so nice. Like, I fell in love with them ever since I, like, had a big mutated army from Scorched Earth. Long, 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 long time ago. And yes, I have one! Huzzah! Now, sadly, I don't have a mate for it, so I can't breed it. But they do such great bleed damage, I can still take it out for some fun. 
Oh, I love having to have Gamma 5 for this, but <laughs> it feels slow. I'm so used to the imprinted ones. Let's demonstrate then the bleed on something like this Parasaur. What level is that Parasaur? You're level 20 epic with 3.2k health. There's also another filer right up there. That was 65 male. That's not bad, but mate, mate, I'm not settling for anything. 145 base damage. This is already more than my imprinted bread Baryonyx was doing. Now, the bleed. Oh, that's so gonna get me, isn't it? That's so gonna get me. Oh, oh. You know what? Oh, I missed. That's great. The hell is that? Really, a pego? Really? Pegos everywhere? I've come back with my bloody tool. You little turd. Die! Oh, good god. Hello. I really went flying there, didn't I? Die! Okay, yeah, that's an Alpha Raptor. A, let's see, a level 15 Alpha Raptor, nothing too special. Cool, because I wouldn't really want to go against, you know, like something giant and terrifying. And over there is a level 10 Tyrant Ally with a level 40. Oh, that's actually quite a large ally pack right there, level 85. Oh, goodness. That's a, that's a lot of aloes. But I do want to try to take on that Alpha Raptor. You know, one might say that going for a Alpha Raptor right next to a, a, a double pack of aloes probably wasn't the smartest idea, but I say, screw it, I've got a Thyla. <laughs> They're not even that overpowered. They're not overpowered at all. I just really like Thylas. And this thing's bleeding way more. Oh, that Allo pack is kind of terrifying, actually. But, hey, look at that. That was so easy. <laughs> the Allo pack. I don't like the Allo pack. I'm going to run away. Another reason as to why I just really like Thylas, and it's, they're just so much better to travel with. Like, got no falling damage. Or oh, at least incredibly reduced falling damage. You can run, you can jump. They're just, like, much more mobile. They're one of the better ground mounts, and it just feels right, you know? It just feels right to finally have one. Whoa! What the hell? That was a Pelovia. Wow, that thing yeeted! You know, it really is funny that I've got, like, this uh, absolutely mahoosive Karkonos, and I'm just <laughs> so much happy with the Thyla. <laughs> I mean, look at that. He just shreds. What the hell? What a weird place for a Spino. What are you doing, mate? Level 20. That'd be really funny if you're a high level, but you're just, like, barely tickling the back of a Diplo, and you don't really deserve any attention. Right, let's say it's about the uh, fourth or fifth Thyla I've killed so far. Oh, and I see another one over there. So far, nothing but low levels. Over there we have 85, another, another low level. Right, I've had my fun. <laughs> I've got it out of my system. I got to enjoy a Thyla again, but ultimately I'm just not going to use it until either I get an imprinted one or uh, until Scorched Earth, because, you know, imagine not flying on the island, kick W. Hopefully I get an imprinted one or even an imprinted Karcher. As I do prefer ground mounts, I think ground mounts just kind of make the game a lot more enjoyable, but it also feels wrong to not use flyers at the same time. It's just too convenient, too painfully convenient, but I'm about done here. Oh God, I am so happy. Like, honestly, it's been making me anxious all week. Like, just knowing that the uh, the roll on the Silo could have gone just so bad. But no, she went so well. Look at that. So. And of course, got a unicorn as well. Unicorn's always a nice bonus. And a high level UT. It's been a really good episode. Right, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you've been enjoying it. And uh, yeah, as always, I'll see you all next time. Cheers.